Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine. Oh, and have you been asking me about this box set and when am I going to review it? And um, here it is. Okay, it's Hawkwind and Days of the Underground. Now, before I witter on too much, which is something I tend to do, let's dive in and have a look at the package itself. So this is Hawkwind, Days of the Underground. The studio and live recordings 1977 to 1979. A deluxe 10 disc, 8 CDs and 2 Blu-rays. Limited edition and box set featuring all the recordings made and released by Hawkwind and the Hawk Lords between 1977 and 1979. Featuring Robert Calvert. New stereo 5.1 surround sound mixes of Cork, Strangers and Charm. Hawk Lords 25 years on and PXR5 by Stephen Wilson. Features an additional four CDs of live material, much of it previously unreleased, including all the survivor recordings from the September 1977 UK tour, Sonic Assassins concert in December 77, Hawk Lords Live at Brunel University, all mixed from the original multi track Masters. Also includes a previously unreleased promotional film and Hawk Lords at Brunel University in 78, and a performance of Cork Strange and Charm on the Mark Boland TV show from 1977, includes an illustrated book new essay and poster so let's dive in and have a look all the track listings are on the back this is absolutely packed with stuff there's a little poster uh, not one of those ones that folds out and you imagine it's sticking on the side of a house um but it's basically the po promo poster for cork straightness and charm there's the booklet which i'll do last of all there are two fold-out affairs um, which show you the CDs. So you've got the first set, is a four CD. So you've seen this before. This is a standard design for a lot of um, record companies and it works well for me. Some people would say it might scratch the CD, but I've not had that happen. And then the last one folds out into three panels with four more CDs and the Blu-ray discs as well. And then we have the booklet, which I'll go through. This is exceptional. Um, so as it starts, if you've got all the all the tracks, there's tons of tons of bonus tracks. So you've got Cork, Strangers and Charm here, bonus tracks, demos in the Rockfield studio sessions where they were pulling the album together to start with. Those are they're not rough, but they're not as finished and polished as disc one. Disc 3 is 25 years on, the Stephen Wilson remix. And there are absolutely tons of bonus tracks for this. Um, lots of, loads and loads of bonus tracks. Um, you've also got um, PXR5, Stephen Wilson remix. And again, there are lots of bonus tracks for this. And then you've got CD5, which is Fairford Hall, Croydon 1977. And then the Gorma Ipswich as well and they make loads of loads of tracks here all mixed from the original master tapes as well that's on cd5 and cd6 is demand from hall in leicester from september the 29th 1977 cd7 sonic assassins at queens i hall barnstable um, which is also excellent hall claws alive at brunel university that's the one that i played first and it's absolutely Bonkers, um, but, but what a wild show that is. And I put that on first because of Urban Gorilla. And then you've got Disc 9, which is Blu-ray, which is Cork, Strangers and Charm in 5.1 surround sound, which is fantastic. Disc 10, 25 years on in 5.1 with also PX5 as well, with some video as well. So we've got then the story of the band during this period with lots of pictures. Uh, there's a little bit of feature on Standing Stands uh, as well, which is the album first album on Charisma label, A Standing Sounds and Amazing Music. And I suppose I'd, I would have liked that to be included in this set, but of course it wasn't quite the same as where they were heading over this next two years. Um, but this story goes into great detail. There's lots of memorabilia, as you can expect, lots of press cuttings and posters, um, but the story is superb. And so if you're a fan of the band or the band of this period, um, you will absolutely love this. Um, you know, got all the lyrics as well from the inner side of the original albums with the same design. We've also got the family tree from Mr. Pete Frame. 
then some kind of press cuttings, then the obviously the obligatory tape box photos, uh, some more posters, press cuttings from the time as well, more tape boxes. And this here, as far as I remember, because I saw the band at this stage, is I think this is the some of those pictures are actually from these particular are from the tour program for the Hawklords tour. In 1978 because I remember buying it and I've seen all these images before I think it was in the program which unfortunately I no longer have and the more tape boxes and that's your that's your booklet and that's the box so it's a similar shape design to the Bebop deluxe deluxe editions and um, absolutely packed with tracks so days of the underground by Hawkwind Hawk Lords Hawkwind whoops so, so what did you think of that then? I have to say, I mean, this is this is expensive. Okay, it's not like a fifty-pound box set. This is closing in on about ninety pounds. But but there's a lot of work gone into this, and there's a lot of re, you know, you know, live concerts being mixed from the original master tape. Steve Wilson's been involved, you know, remixing into five point one. We've got the you know the. There's a lot of bonus tracks. There's a great booklet, as you've just seen. And there are, of course, eight CDs and two Blu-ray discs. Blu-ray again, see? No, it would have been 12 to have normal DVDs in, so it's great that we're just moving to Blu-ray. And where did I go first on this? Because I've been dipping in and out of it quite a lot. And before I start, I just want to... A bit of history, me and Hawk Lords. Um, and this is again the story about what it's like as you get older as a music fan and how much our brains and our expand and our tastes expand. It's like that, you know, when you're young and you don't like olives until you're about in your 40s and you try an olive and you think, you know what, I quite like that. Or hot curries. Um, so I saw the Hawk Lords in 1978, I think it was, and I was not impressed with the band because I was 19. The first Van Halen album was out, Long Live Rock and Roll by Rainbow and uh, Obsession by UFO, loads of stuff was out. And I knew Hawkwind, I knew what Hawkwind was supposed to be like. And Hawk Lords, if Robert Calvert and was not like that, they'd, they'd embraced the new wave and punk attitude and tweaked it with their own internal coordinates to take along the Hawkwind sound, but to give it a totally different um, edge. Um, and I was not able to cope with that at the time. Now, how many times on, on this channel do I talk like this? Um, I've loved this. I've absolutely loved it. And I'll tell you exactly what I played first, um, because one of my favourite Hawkwind tracks is Urban Gorilla. And this features on the Live at Brunel University um, disc, which is CD8. And it's absolutely wild. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, you know, automation, 25 years, high rise death trap, which is a <laughs> absolutely full on um, punky track, really. The Age of the Microman. They were so ahead of their time with lyrics about technology and the way the world and everyone feeling as if they're, you know, kind of thought control. They were ahead of the time, Spirit of the Age, Urban Gorilla, Sonic Attack, PSI pa Power and Brainstorm. They're mixing in the old and the new. Um, but there are so many, so many bonus tracks on this. Um, Cork, Strangers and Charm, of course, with Asan Sabah, is it? Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but that's one of my favourite tracks with the violin intro and everything. Um, Spirit of the Age, the title track, of course. It's just absolutely superb. And the Blu-ray discs, the surround sound mixes, Stephen Wilson never takes advantage of his talents in, in 5.1 surround sound. He always makes it so that you're aware of things you hadn't noticed before. His remixes are the same. He just enhances elements of the song, but he doesn't change it too much. Um, but this is a wonderful set. And I think if you're a Hawkwind fan, you're going to buy it. And if you, it's hard to explain. Um, but I've really enjoyed this. I've enjoyed the attitude. I've enjoyed the energy. The live recordings. What's the one? Uh, say Sonic Assassins. This is after 
there was a point where in Hawkwind they just felt like they weren't enjoying it anymore and they wanted to have a side project and they would decide should they change the name and so they came up with this kind of offshoot band um, called the Sonic Assassins and this is on here the, the, the live concert they did as the Sonic Assassins is on here and it's Golden Void, Magnu, Angels of Life, Free Fall, Death Trap, Over the Top, Masters of the Universe, Welcome to the Future. It's absolutely fantastic gig. It really is. Um, there's some absolutely fantastic. And some of the bonus tracks, We Like to be Frightened, which is a homage to how, how we used to, or how all of us from that age group used to see Hammer Films. And it's a great little pop song, to be honest. And Robert Calvert's the two, the two videos, PSI Power and 25 Years, watching them now made me realise just how blinkered I was to, to see them on stage there and Brock with his long white coat as if he's just come out of a, you know, a mental hospital or something and uh, from the time. And it just, the attitude of the stage and it's just the, the stance, the, the stage gear, they really were cutting edge. You know, a lot of bands have been seen as dinosaurs, old hippies. I mean, technically, Hawkwind should have been seen as old hippies or dinosaurs, but they weren't, were they? And they actually dressed like hippies at some, to the eyes of a punk. But their music, the way that they were, you wouldn't want to mess with them. Even though Lemmy wasn't with them anymore, you wouldn't want to mess with Hawkwind. There was something kind of dangerous about them. In the, in the way they approached things lyrically, they were very, very observational. And there was something very, very on the edge, very underground about them, that you don't mess with them. They were like outside of contemporary music. They were in a world of their own. They dipped in and out when it suited them. And they took what they, they heard that was going on at the time and kind of Im immersed it in their own fabric and their own vision of what their identity, musical identity was all about. And this, Days of the Underground, studio and live recording, 1977 to 1979, 24 months. That's all. 24 months. And all of that happened. And it's on this set. And it's absolutely bonkers brilliant. Um, I, I absolutely highly recommend it. So save up. Um, and if you know it's it's great a lot of work's gone into this you can tell um, and and that's you know the price point for what it is what you're getting I think is is absolutely cool and this works perfectly as a CD blu-ray box set it really really does so thank you for watching thank you for being here thank you for becoming patrons please do if you can and help support me further to make more of these videos stay safe and keep spinning those records and I shall see you on my next video.